serverless pool in Azure Synapse is a distributed query processing engine that allows users to analyze large data sets stored in Azure Data Lake without needing to provision or manage infrastructure. It provides on-demand SQL query capabilities, charging only for the data processed, making it cost-effective for ad hoc analytics. In this Azure Synapse Analytics episode, I'm going to show you how to perform SQL analysis using the built-in serverless pool. So let's get started. So I'm currently in my storage account and I want to show you something quickly in my containers. I'm going to come here and I've got this my Synapse container, which is linked to my Synapse Analytics workspace. And I'm going to come here and I can see I've got this Cornerstone IT Solutions Azure Synapse new. And this is a Synapse workspace. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch the studio. So I'm going to click on open and it's going to open in a separate tab. This is my Synapse Analytics workspace. Now, before I go further, I'm going to come to this CSV files. Now, in this case, I've got the year, region, subcategory, product, price, quantity, and the sales columns. Now, I'm going to show you how we can upload this into my container that is linked to my Synapse Analytics workspace. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to come to the monitor tab. Now, in the monitor, I'm going to click on that analytics pool SQL pools, and then we're going to see the built-in serverless pool by default. And then we have the status, which is online, and then we have the version, which is V2, and the size, and so on. Now, I'm going to come to the data tab. In the data, I'm going to see the workspace. In this case, I've got no workspace. And I'm going to click on linked service. Now, the linked service, my Azure Data Lake Storage tool is automatically linked to this Synapse workspace. Now, I'm going to put a link of how to create a workspace in the link of this video so they can see how we can do all of that. Now, I'm going to click on this to expand and I'm going to see this Cornerstone IT solution Azure Synapse new and click on this to expand. And then I'm going to see my Synapse container, exactly the same container we have in this storage account, which is my ADLS Gen 2. Now, I'm going to click on that. And when I click on that, I'm going to see this tab at the top. So I'm going to use the upload functionality to upload that file from my local laptop. So click on upload. And then I'm going to browse to a file, click on this, and I'm going to pick the sales 2023.csv double click and then i can overwrite the file if it exists so this is fine click on upload okay uploaded completed and we're going to see the sales 2023.csv file so we will go ahead and perform sql analysis on top of this sales data now to do that i'm going to come to the develop tab in the develop i'm going to see this plus option click on that now i can use the sql script i can use the Q2 query language script. I can even use the notebook, the data flow, a participant job definition, and I can even browse through the gallery. So I want to focus on today the SQL script. Click on that. And then I'm going to see the properties. Now, in the properties, I can see under the general, I can give a name for this. I can even go ahead and provide a description and so on. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. Okay. And I'm going to close this tab. Now, I want to make sure that we are connected to this built in serverless pool. So I'm going to see here. So this is, should be enabled. And of course, you can always go back to manage the pool. Click on the manage pool. So this is going to take you back to the manage tab. And then we'll see under the analytics pool the sql pool and then we have the built in and when i click on that i'm going to see all the properties such as the name the workspace sql endpoint the status creation date and so on so i'm going to go back to the develop tab and then i've got this sql script and i can right click and i can open i can export i can clone rename move or delete if i choose to that's fine so i'm going to come into this canvas and i can write my sql script so I want to read the data from that container. So I'm going to come to this notepad. I prepared the script. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to explain in a moment. So I'm going to control V. So basically, we want to select all the rows from this location that is 
the ADLS Gen 2 dot distributed file system dot call dot windows dot net and then we have the name of the container and then the name of the files. Now, how do I get this? It's super easy. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these, delete, and if I want to get the same link, I'm going to come to my Synapse container and I'm going to see the sales 2023 file. I can right click and then go to the properties at the bottom and in the properties, I'm going to see the name, the URL, the ABFSS path last modified and so on so we want to copy the url copy that cancel this and then i can return back to the sql script tab here and i can control v to paste so that's basically how we can get the bulk and we're going to be using the open row set function and we're going to specify the format of the file data now this is a comma separated value csv file so we have the format equal to csv inside single quote and the comma and then we have the header row equal to true because we have the headers in the row number one and then we have the parcel version equal to 2.0 and then we're going to provide this as the solution you can use anything you like here so i can go on and run the script And there we go. So let me just collapse this menu. I'm gonna collapse this and I wanna collapse this. So there we go. So we can see the data properly analyzed in the SQL. Now let's want to actually perform further analysis. Let's want to pick, let's say, the region and the product. And then I want to see the sales. I can just come here, get rid of this star. I can type in the region column, comma, and I can type in the product column comma and i can type in the sales okay and i can go on and run the script and then it's going to return the three columns for me which is absolutely fantastic what about if i want to see the total sales by product i can do something like this i can come here get rid of this region and i'm going to come here get rid of this and use the sum function and i'm going to call the name of the sales column and i'm going to alias this as total sales and then i can go on and provide the group by so in the group by i'm going to come back here and use the group by so i'm going to group by the product column and that's what i need to do i can go ahead and run the script and there we go so i can move this up a little bit so we have the total sales by product so this is how we can essentially perform sql analysis in the azure synapse analytics I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share, comment, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.